Hi everyone, I'm in Mississauga today and behind me is the driver examination center. Today we're doing G2 road test. We're gonna do the mock-up exam, take you on an actual route and give you all the tips and tricks you need to pass your test from the first time. So this is the center and you park just over here on the right side. You can see the numbered parking spots. That's where you park. Now I suggest you park backwards like this, uh, closer to the end of the spots. So spots, you know, 25 to 31. That way you're just going straight, turning left and exiting the parking lot right away. All right, so here we are in the car. We went inside, we've registered. We're waiting for our examiner to come to our car. Today I'm here with my friend and an expert in this field who's going to help us and guide us through this mock-up exam. Hi everyone. So you're waiting here in your car, in your parking spot and the examiner, examiner will going to come to you and uh, ask you to start your car and verify your ID what's your name, what's your address, make sure you know your postal code, what's your date of birth. Then he goes around your car to make a circle check, uh, to check all these lights and uh, signal left, signal right, brake lights, stop lights, uh, uh, make sure you have good tires on your car and make sure you have no windshield cracks on the windshield. And it's a good idea to go to the gas station before the road test, or at least you have a half, half tank of the gas. And then examiner sit down in your car and uh, ask you to sign before it was papers. Right now it's an iPad. And then you start your road test. If you have the crack on the windshield. Yeah, if you have a crack on the windshield, so road test not gonna happen because it's safety reason. So make sure you have no uh, cracks on the windshield and uh, make sure you know all the, like for example, if it's a bad weather condition or, or you have rain, make sure you know how to operate windshields, uh, wipers on the windshield. And uh, if it's snow, you want to know where defrosters are, yeah. where the, your ventilation is so it doesn't get foggy inside. Yeah. In winter time, it's a good idea to take off your winter jacket mm. that you feel comfortable. Uh, take off my fall yeah. jacket. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, you know. Can you, if you don't have, like, can you rent the car? Can you yeah, borrow if you, car? Like if a... you have something wrong with your car, you can borrow your car from your friends. You can uh, drive your parents' car. You can even like uh, rent a car, rent a car for the road test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. Uh, but if you you have to make sure you're not coming alone. Some, alone, if you're doing G two, that if you didn't don't pass, that somebody can. Yeah, drive somebody you. can drive you home. And examiner will gonna ask you like, oh, who gonna drive you home? So make sure you have like a per second person with you. Mm -hmm. And when you come and register, there's there might be. Yeah, a right now line. it's a COVID-19 situation and it's a long line to get in, uh, to enter the road test center. But here in Mississauga, we have, a, you don't need to wait in line. We have a special second en side entrance uh, for the, like if you have road test booked. So just go there, it's a second entrance and uh, you say, okay, like I have a road test appointment and you go straight inside don't wait in line yeah mm -hmm. you have to be here like half an hour before the road test and it's a good idea to come here even earlier maybe like one hour before you go through the route like couple times and uh, you see if you have any construction on the road any unexpected like road repairs or something like closings mm -hmm. so make sure you go through the ro road test route couple times to warm you up and then you're gonna go for registration Mm -hmm. And today is a sunny day 
Is yeah. it is it uh, okay to use sunglasses? Yeah, you can use sunglasses, but my recommendation to you don't use the sunglasses for the road test because examiner <laughs> 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 they want to see your eyes, how your eyes moving, like how you check in your rear view, how you check in your blind spot and mm -hmm. left, right, left. So my recommendation for you, even if it's sunny day or if it's a really bright day in winter time, because all is white and snow around. So don't use the sunglasses unless it's prescribed. But if it's like absolutely necessary for your sensitive eyes, uh, just you may ask uh, examiner, like, would you mind my sunglasses? He say yes. But my recommendation to you, don't use it. You're gonna survive these 10 minutes, mm -hmm. no matter. Um, if it's uh, winter, especially it's bright, right? Uh, but would the road be test be cancelled for any reason if it's yeah, bad weather? If it's uh, bad weather, it's uh, usually uh, snowfall, heavy snowfall or icy road. But if it's, uh, it, it's the, re the road test will be cancelled. But if it's uh, just rain or heavy rain and road conditions is not so good because of too much water on the road, it's not going to be cancelled. It's going to be, yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to be. So the only reason is the icy road and the uh, heavy snowfall. That's it. Okay. So uh, when you start, don't forget to buckle up. Don't forget to <laughs> buckle up. Use your hand brake, your parking brake all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to check your rear view five to ten seconds. And uh, see two hands on the wheel. Two hands on the steering wheel. Check your blind spots and uh, your speed limit control should be like all the time you should control your speed yeah okay so start your car and you're gonna use your parking brake yeah mm -hmm. so parking brake should be like on should be on when you yeah before you okay. before your road mm -hmm. test okay so if you're ready let's go left we getting out from this parking spot, parking lot of exam driving examination center. Okay, hand and brake, remove the hand brake, put on D. Yep. Show a signal left, make yeah. sure no one is running around in front of the car. Yeah, here's a place of excitement. Lots of people like, oh, we pass a road test and they running across uh, the street under the wheels of your car as they don't even see that you coming. And it's like, like wait for them so make sure you 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 really pay attention for the people and examiners and if you have some cars wait don't be in rush take your time the main reason for the road test is safety okay going left we're exiting from this parking lot So pedestrian crossing here pedestrian crossing check left right and we have uh, speed bumps it's three of them right here so you really go in with speed limit like of maybe 20 kilometers per hour it's a good idea to slow down before the bump and then off your foot from the gas and brakes and you just like make it nice and mm -hmm. uh, roll, just roll over yeah and soft to go through these speed bumps okay and this stop sign we go in straight this is a long side drive just for us here yeah okay uh, you remember if uh, we have no speed limit signs it's uh, speed limit is 50 by default and first stop sign it's always stop we turning left to merits drive road test here that's why people like mississauga road test for g2 license uh, is uh, really pretty straightforward it's uh, you going through the couple of traffic lights and stop signs and then you make a three-point turn parallel parking and downhill or uphill and you're going back the same way 
So after left turn and left lane, you switch your lane to the right automatically. Uh, don't wait for examiner to ask you to make a lane change to the right. You have to do it by yourself. And then examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left because first coming traffic light, it's dairy road west, we're gonna turn left. Dairy road, it's a major street. So on merits, we have speed limit 50 and uh, dairy road west, we have speed limit is 70. So you turn in left in the left lane, sometimes we have green arrow here. Green arrow is working only in the rush hour, in the morning and afternoon after 3 p.m. And you make a left turn in the left lane. Turn in the left yeah, lane. check for pedestrians. And, and then, automatically same yeah, thing. Yeah. It's a good idea to speed up till 70 and then you switch your lane to the right, right, last right lane. Here we have three lanes, you have to be in the right lane. And uh, next right lane is for driving, left all the other ones for passing, right? No passing, turning left. left lane for left turn. Okay, and here we have speed limit 70 and first uh, traffic light, St. Barbara, we turn in right. St. Barbara is a street um, with speed limit of 50. Here a bike yeah. lane. We have a bike lane here, leave it free, and then we're going straight. And the uh, second stop sign we turn in left. So again, we have no speed limit signs here, so it's 50. Always stop, you stop, first come, first go, you stop before the stop line. If you have no stop line, you stop before sidewalk or border of the road. And should be full stop, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, first come, first go, no pedestrians. Okay, the way is clear. Maintaining 50. Maintaining 50. This is calm residential area. And here, first intersection, no any signs. We turn in left. It's uh, Kamiski Crescent or Court. And this is the street where examiner will ask you to make a downhill parking, parallel parking, and three point turn. So pull over to the right and park your car like downhill. When you, when you make a downhill or uphill parking, please don't uh, block the driveways. Mm -hmm. Make it like a, so beside the grass. And brake, downhill yeah. parking, so we want to turn the wheels all the way to the right. Towards the curb. Towards yeah, the curb, that's so. right. This okay. is flat area. If examiner will not, didn't say you it's a downhill or uphill, or just say, okay, pull over to the right and park your car. It's a flat area just in case you turn your wheels to the right towards the curb mm -hmm. when is it when is it to the left to the left is only uphill with the curb uphill parking with curb is left the rest any conditions is going to be to the right so to uphill the uphill with without the curb is also to the right to the right yeah so the main idea of the car rolls it should off it should go off the road of the not yeah. not on the road not on incoming traffic way yeah mm -hmm. okay that's good let's go from here okay let's get out make wheel straight yeah you're steering hand over hand, hand don't brake, use a palm steering mm. palm steering is like, like like this like, yeah <laughs> yeah with so. one palm yeah hand over hand yeah and remember, mirror signal, blind spot, like a formula. You check your mm, mirrors, signal. make a signal in the blind spot, over shoulder check. If you have any cars, just wait. Okay, and let's make a parallel parking with this car. Okay, showing signal. Okay, make sure you train your parallel parking a lot with different different cars we have a special video it's gonna be here uh, link gonna be here so uh, if you don't know how to make a parallel parking watch this video and you can learn how to make it perfect 
in maybe 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. But you have to practice a lot with different, different cars. With uh, big cars, long, wide, mini vans, pickup trucks, because you don't know what kind of car is going to be on the road test. Okay. Speed, handbrake. Again, I'll just turn the wheels to the right, That's foot it. off the brake, yep. and we're done. We're good. Sometimes the examiner will open the door to check the distance between your car and the curb. Don't be freaked out, they're just having fun. The ideal distance is like one foot, 30 centimeters. But the main idea, don't touch the curb. If you okay. feel like you're gonna touch the curb, yeah, what? go back and forth, like fix your position. Don't touch the curb, don't clip the curb. Don't like even hit the curb, so no touching. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, let's get out from here. Okay, make the wheel straight. Handbrake, show signal left. Put on rear, I'm gonna back out a little bit. Yeah, make sure no Next cars in front, no cars from behind. It okay. should be clear way. Put on D, mirror, signal I have, blind spot. And we're getting out from here. Okay, and let's make a three-point turn. Okay, signal right. Yeah, th your three-point turn is a halfway. From this point, you're going back to examination center. Same roads. Signal left. Make sure no one in front, no one behind. Yeah. And you should make a three-point turn in between two curbs. Don't use don't a driveway. driveway. Okay. Yeah. If you don't know how to make it properly, and uh, we have a special video on this one too. So check it out. When you back out, you show signal right and then also yeah you physically look, have look to back. look okay. at the back you make a put signal. on D signal left yeah and get all in out way. from here left. okay that's all your exercises in a residential area and you're going back to examination center so we're going straight till stop sign and uh, it's gonna be St. Barbara will turn in right. Here we have a stop sign only for us. And we have no stop line. So it's a good idea to stop before sidewalk. You don't want to block sidewalk if in case you have pedestrians. Mm -hmm. And we turn in right. Make sure it's no cars from the left. Our car should be far enough, like 200 meters. And then you're gonna make a safe turn right okay we're going straight uh, yeah another stop sign always stop uh, first come first go should be full stop no any rolling no any movement yeah one Mississippi two Mississippi okay as you slow down good idea also to check. yeah your foot going to the brake pedal and you check in your rear view it's a good idea and you have to like when you check in your rear view you have to make a chin up like some exaggeration like yeah examiner will see that you check in your rear view and this traffic light we turn in left daily road west And here we have to wait till green light. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Derry Road is the major street here, and it's uh, sometimes you have to wait here a couple minutes. But don't be uh, like panicking. It's it's just like long traffic light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just you checking left, right. Like both your hands should be on steering wheel. You check in your rear view, you know you have a, like some cars behind mm -hmm. and you're gonna make a left turn in the left lane and after the turn you have to switch your lane to the right, right, right again. All the to, way. All and the if way. you don't do that, they deduct points. So yeah. That's... yeah. Mm -hmm. And speed limit on Derry is 70. Speed so up. your acceleration should be pretty energetic. Check for pedestrians, no pedestrians, okay. Okay, so speed up till 
70 start showing signal okay here is speed limit 70 and keep going okay we are in the right lane speed limit is 70 is good and first traffic light marriage drive we turn in right back to examination center and we have a special inlet special lane for the right turn okay green for us here again check for any pedestrians blind spots for any bicycles yep if you have a pedestrian you wait until they cross yeah until they cross if they're crossing from your side they, they have to be on the other side of the road if they're crossing from other side they have to step on the curb so wait for pedestrians don't be in rush 50 here yeah. maintaining 50 and first stop sign long side drive we turn in right here we have to be in the right lane again always stop we have a stop line okay left right and you want the signal to click enough times yeah your signal should click like five to eight times before you actually make it maneuver or turn three clicks is not enough so make it in advance okay so 50 here but we're gonna slow down we're gonna slow we're... down we're entering the driveway to the examination center and we have a speed bumps here so you don't you, want to go 50 <laughs> yeah you don't want to go go 50 your speed should be around maybe 25 20 25 kilometers um, uh, let me see here i'm going through speed bumps here uh, it's 25. slow down and then as i'm crossing it's like just 10, 10 kilometers <laughs> very yeah. slow it's just you and just walk in here bit. And the last one, examiner will ask you to make a front in parking or reverse parking. So 80% it's reverse parking to the right. Uh -huh. So usually they ask you to go to the last end uh, in the first numbers of the road test center. Uh -huh. So if you have some cars in front of you, they making like uh, reverse parking. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. let them do their parking because maybe they are on the road test too and you don't want to freak them out because it's a last exercise on the road test mm -hmm. so if you don't know how to make a reverse parking we have a special video on that one and you can learn to make a reverse parking like pretty easily mm -hmm. uh, you have just to practice that one mm -hmm. and pr if you practice practice to make a reverse parking to the right and to the left it's a good idea if you can make it in a one shot mm -hmm. and uh, but you can fix your position you can go back and forth to fix your position you should be inside the parking spot in between two lanes and it should be enough distance uh, for you and for your examiner to get out from the car so let's make a reverse parking in place number five okay so again showing signal right yeah observation uh, going on rear no cars no pedestrians spot number five Okay, watching the lines, adjusting a little bit here, and going straight all the way back. Okay, put on park your car. on P, handbrake again. Yeah. Off your engine. Off the, off the foot of the brake. Turn off the car. Yeah, you actually did it really good. You yeah. practice a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. And it's a good idea to, to do it in one shot. In one this shot. Is yeah, last, this is the last, last one, exercise. Yeah. You wanna you wanna make it perfect. Make, yeah. make it perfect. But if it doesn't work, that's okay. Adjust. Just go back and forth a little bit. Adjust as long as you're not adjusting like ten times, right? Like yeah. <laughs> 
you can adjust like couple times yeah but like one time is back and forth is good but you have to know how to adjust your car mm -hmm. your position okay at this point examiner say you okay you pass your road test congrats yeah and you go inside to the counter and get your temporary g2 license and you're gonna get a new plastic car through the mail in two or three weeks right now so this is good mm -hmm. so the main exercise is again parallel parking three point turn parallel three -point parking turn. you have to know how to park your car Road downhill mm -hmm. downhill uphill and uh, back parking or with, front parking in the parking spot with uh with parallel parking it could be any car it could be a big truck big truck minivan uh, minivan pickup school truck bus whatever like school bus and small car uh, regarding the school buses you guys know how to if if you have a school bus if you book your road test like early in the morning and school buses on the road so 20 meters you stop if school bus stops with the hazard signals on Flashing. emergency signals flashing mm. signals and uh, you have to stop 20 meters before the bus doesn't matter it's uh, on your side of the road or in, on opposite side of the road all road is stops and waiting until bus uh, off the flashing lights uh, police ambulance firefighters if they come in with sirens and uh, uh, emergency lights you have to pull over to the right, stop and wait for them to pass. Don't follow them less than 150 meters. So just let them go. Usually it's like first is firefighters all the time. And then if, if you meet a firefighter, be ready. It's going to be ambulance or police like right after. Mm -hmm. So pay really attention on this one. Mm, when is the best time? So best time not yeah. in the morning? <laughs> uh, my recommendation to you if you have chance to book your oil test after morning rush hour morning, uh, morning rush hour usually up to nine uh, nine nine o'clock in the morning and after nine o'clock uh, all traffic is coming down it's gonna be like much more space on the roads and you have to have uh, space and room to make your lane changes and it's like just easier because it's less cars on the road afternoon rush hour starting 3 p.m and there's a school finish school buses on the road and much more traffic on the road so hard from, to make lane changes yeah from 9 to 3 it's a good time my favorite time is like 9 30 9 50 10 20 11 20 like this is a really not that much traffic on the road and uh it it looks like it's pretty short for g2 yeah uh, in terms of the test so it's pretty 10, straightforward 10, 15 yeah. minutes maybe um uh, what, what are some of the ways that people i guess what are some major mistakes that people make that yeah. they they fail because of those mistakes major mistakes is uh not a full stop on the stop sign called rolling you have to make a full stop, complete stop, like stop and count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And uh, another one is a speed limit. Your speed limit should be under control all the time. Mm -hmm. And if it's uh, sometimes uh, on a daily road here is 70, some people going slow with 50. And uh, so if you have chance to speed up till 70, speed up till 70. Don't be over cautious and go too slow. So if you have speed limit sign 50, accelerate till 50 or try to be. Mm -hmm. um, so stop sign, speed limit and uh, parallel parking usually touching mm, curb. Touching curb is uh, not a good idea at all. If you're doing a three point turn, a three point turn and you like touch the, touch the, curb. the curb, bad idea, right? Yeah. Like it's major yeah. mistake. Mm -hmm. And it could be a combination of little mistakes. Little mistakes as well. If you if you don't check your blind spot, if you miss to check a blind spot eight times, that's it. End of the road test. So you have to turn your like head over shoulder check, check your rear view, mm -hmm. speed limit control, make all signals left and right, 
switching lanes to the right you have to be comfortable to changing lanes so practice this one too if you're turning right you turn into right lane not not the second lane yeah. if you're turning left you turn in the first left lane yeah don't go like across into the right lane yeah so just th th that will they'll mark it as mistakes so yep mm -hmm. well i think for me it's the biggest uh thing is confidence and getting rid of the nerves yeah uh, if you are feeling uh nervous and you are you know you're not you're shaky <laughs> you're yeah, yeah. you're scared uh that's when you forget to pay attention that's when you start to make mistakes and then you realize you made mistake and then you make more mistakes i think that's yeah main so don't say on the road that you are nervous to examiner just say you are excited but you feel confident and comfortable it's like yeah you have to pass you have to show your overconfidence maybe not overconfidence but like don't say you're, you're comfortable that and to do that i would say come earlier yeah practice this route go yourself like through this you know if you do it a couple times i think you'll be fine you'll it will give you the confidence you need yeah that's a good idea mm -hmm. okay well if you uh if you guys found this video helpful please like the video uh maybe it will help someone else if we didn't answer any of your questions please write them in comments below and uh, I'll make sure to uh, get back to you. Yeah, um, if you if you have questions regarding the other examination centers, mm -hmm. we're gonna do this one. Which one you want? Let us know which one you want. And we uh, uh, there's there's tons that uh, we already did. So there's a link uh, below this video to the playlist with all the other Ontario driving centers. So if your your test got rescheduled and it's no longer in Mississauga, maybe it's in Etobicoke now or Brampton or wherever, check out those videos. There's full route, actual route of the road test. And again, you just you just go, practice, and um, you'll, be, you'll be successful. So. Yeah. so subscribe for our channel, ring the bell, and uh, we wish you best of luck on the road test from the first time. Yep. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.